What's going on YouTube? JT is your born here and welcome back to another edition of my DC comic book reviews and in this video I'm going to be talking about Batman issue number 141. This one is written by Chip Zdarsky with art once again done by Jorge Jimenez and Zdarsky also writes the backup with Dustin Nguyen doing the art on that. So this is the latest part or chapter in the whole Mind Bomb storyline. At the end of the previous issue, Batman confronted Zurana, who is now possessing Failsafe. We're still in the Zurana stuff, and basically this whole issue is just, why don't you retire being Batman, Bruce? Why don't I just take over? You can rest, and this is your final warning. He's like, no, I can't retire. I'm Batman because I'm Batman, Batman, Batman. That's basically in a nutshell. And then we get pretty much a chase scene here. Uh, Dick and Babs are also in this issue. They talk to one of Bruce's former mentors, and they're going to try and find a way to kind of help him out. Uh, Batman does all he can to try and stop Failsafe, but as we saw beforehand in Zdarsky's run, Failsafe pretty much took out the entire Justice League by himself, mind you, before just kind of giving up because this robot is just has ridiculous plot armor i guess uh batman tries to do what he can there's a few kind of cool nods like he tries to disguise his body heat uh using mud which felt very reminiscent of the movie predator and there's some cool shots right in here of failsafe i mean jorge menes is on the artwork and his artwork always looks really good i don't think this is my favorite issue he's drawn but you do get a lot of action and it does visually look quite pleasing to the eyes uh the characters look great in the style i mean it's jorge menes really fantastic artist so that's that. Batman tries to do his best to fight this thing, and he's beaten. Then he wakes up in what a sort of jail cell, if you will, where the Joker's there, and he's going to tell him his story about this whole Zerina thing. So it's Joker and Bruce. Joker's in jail, and he's. We're going to get into this Joker Year One storyline, and we're going to kind of explore things a little bit. So you got that thing, and the backup is basically how Zerina possessed Failsafe and the various multiverse Zeranas, if you will, kind of taking charge, if you will. Uh, Dustin Nguyen did the artwork on this one, and I like the colors right here. I think the lighting really, like, meshes well. I think visually it's at least really interesting to kind of look at and it's basically just how he kind of came into control of fighting the various multiversal versions of Zerana if you will and that's pretty much it so if you want to know how that came to be that just goes to show you how Zerana kind of took over and that's basically the issue if you will in a nutshell so next up we're gonna get the Joker kind of telling some stories for a little bit and then we're gonna have Zerana I think probably fighting the Bat family while all this is going on maybe in the backups or whatnot I know in the previous uh parts of Mind Bomb and the backups we had Van Savage trying to take over a uh, Gotham City uh, commissioner was one of the, I think that was one of the things that was going on with him behind the scenes because he can't leave Gotham otherwise he loses a lot of his power a lot of like not so much grounded villains going on in Zdarsky's run we have failsafe and they had Vandal Savage if you will we're kind of like pushing it a little bit further with Batman's types of rogues that we're dealing with the failsafe stuff feels like it's been going on for quite a while at this point the Zura Na stuff I know I've mentioned in previous videos that I'm just a little bit bored of possessed mind control Batman because we have something similar kind of going on in Detective Comics, if you will. Although Bruce seemingly is kind of over that now that Zerana is out of his head and manifested itself in a uh, robot such as Failsafe. And we've already seen how powerful and dangerous the Failsafe robot can be. So imagine that in the hands of Zerana. And now maybe Batman's going to have to work together with Joker to sort of stop this uh, creature, or this AI intelligence, if you will. What exactly is Zerana? Is it like some sort of alien thing that's possessing people or whatnot? I don't know. I've just... I've never been a huge fan of the Zeranoth thing of just taking over Batman's mind. If you, I just, I, I don't like it. I just, I don't think it's all that necessary. Why can't Batman just be on his own doing his stuff? Why does he need constant mind control or something like that? It's just one of those things that I'm kind of surprised it's gotten this much traction in a story arc, but what is it inevitably going to lead to? That's that's what I'm wondering. What are we going to do after this stuff? And we have Bruce and Joker just kind of having a conversation. That's some of the more interesting stuff to me, where it's just them sort of talking with one another. The Joker's kind of trapped where he's at. Batman's kind of trapped where he's at. And we'll have the two of them talking. Like, to me, that's some of my favorite Batman and Joker stuff, is just some of the conversations that the two of them can have with one another. So I'm actually looking forward to seeing some of that stuff. Uh, I'm curious to see how the Joker's whole year one sort of shenanigans is going to work and play out, but we got a few more issues left of that arc, I'm sure, and then Batman's going to have to try and find some way to stop Fail Save Zeranoff forever. How will he rid himself of it? How is it going to be just eradicated altogether? I don't exactly know. It's going to be kind of a weird, bizarre thing, I'm sure. But in terms of this issue, at least we got a lot of good art action from Jorge Jimenez and that's pretty much my main pro of the issue per se because like i said i've never been huge into the zurana stuff and i'm a little bit bored of batman mind control stuff because we also have some of this going on in detective comics if you will 
but at least this issue moves at a quick pace and you get some really good Jorge Jimenez artwork to kind of capitalize things. And the stuff with Bruce and Joker at the end where they're going to kind of have a conversation with one another does sound a bit interesting. So I'm kind of looking forward to that aspect and seeing how the Bat Family is going to try and stop Zeranoff, fueled failsafe who somehow managed to take out the Justice League on his own, <laughs> if you will. Are the Titans going to come in? Where does this all take place? Who knows, but we'll see where it goes from there. So um, kind of a mixed to positive issue, I, I suppose, because like I said, the artwork is good. And I think the stuff with Bruce and Joker has me intrigued going forward. I'm just a little bored of mind control Batman stuff and Zerna, but it seems the mind control stuff is now over that Zerna has manifested itself in this robot. So at least there's that. But uh, yeah, that's all I really have to say about this particular issue. What did you think of Batman issue number 141? Did you like it? Did you dislike it? Post your comments down below and be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel for more content. Hit the bell for notifications. This is the first comic book review of 2024 and I think we started off okay. 2023 was, you know, had some ups and downs for sure, but I'm hoping 2024 is a big improvement if you will. So there's some exciting stuff to look forward to. But anyways, that's all I really have to say. As always, take care now. Bye-bye then and I will see you all in the next video until uh, whenever that may be. New comic book stuff comes out next week. So should be fun. All right. See you later, everyone. Bye-bye.